Oh, we might have just cut. Oh, no. Oh, we lost. We definitely <laughs> lost some grip there. I think I got a little bit too happy on that one. Before we get into the video, if you enjoy my videos, it would help me out heaps if you consider clicking the like button and subscribing. Remember to also enable notifications so you know when new videos are up. Also, if you are looking for any Fanatec gear and would like to support the channel, check out the description below for my affiliate links that give me a small commission on every sale. There's also a link below in the description to our Discord server. We've got a bunch of great people in there already, but we could always do with a few more. So anyone's welcome. If you want to join, check out the link below. Now, that's enough of the generic YouTuber talk, let's get into the video. G'day everyone, it's Lockdown Haircut Nick here, and it's finally happening. We are playing NASCAR 2003. Now, um, about a month or so ago, I did a video on Live for Speed, which is an early 2000s sim racing game with a bit of a cult following. Um, and a lot of you guys in the comments of that video and some of my other videos have said that I should try out NASCAR 2003. So, I got my hands on a copy, and after much effort in setting up my wheel, for the longest time, my H pattern shifted would just not work. All of a sudden today, it has decided to work. So we've got everything mapped out. If we go to the options screen, everything is mapped and working as I want it to. We're not gonna to touch anything in there, but um, everything's maxed out on graphics, of course, given that it's a 2003 game. Um, but something you might not know, although a lot of people do, is that this is the, uh, the game that a lot of code in iRacing comes from. So um, you might notice some similarities in iRacing to this. Uh, iRacing, I believe, released in 2008 uh, and took a lot of cues and a lot of code from this. I don't think it still does use a lot of that code. I think it's gone well beyond that. But when we get into the game, you'll see that there are some similarities in the UI and the general feel of the game. Okay, so we are at Daytona. We're getting told to go to our cars, apparently. <laughs> but uh, we're at Daytona. We're going to do a race, 20 laps, and just try this game out. I don't want to go into too huge detail about um, all the different ins and outs of this. I'm still learning a lot, and I know that the community out there uh, can be quite devoted to this, so I don't really want to go in too much detail and potentially get things wrong. So I'm still learning. If you have any tips and things that I should try, I know there's heaps of mods available for this as well. So um, please, let me know if there's things that are worth having a go at. I just want to jump in today and try a race just to see how I think and what, I've, you know, what it's like. Um, and just overall, what things were like back in 2003 and how they compare today. So let's get stuck into the race and see what happens. And here we go. Start your engines. Getting told to start our engines, let's go. Put in first. Now we're gonna do our best not to just bin it into the back of someone from the get go. 20 laps. And it seems like we don't have a UI to tell us how many laps we've done. Unless we need like a black box or something. But you can probably tell just from how this looks even now. You know, the little speedo thing kind of reminds me of the little floating one in iRacing. <laughs> the screen beforehand before we got into the race. All little, little things that I just feel like iRacing took cues from. Could be wrong, but you know. Now, force feedback isn't that strong for me at the moment. And a lot of that's due to the fact that I still haven't got the uh, fix for my 918 rim. It's still running in low torque mode, so let's hope it's not too bad. All right, we've got green, let's go. Green, green, green. Punch it. I'm gonna shift into third early. Just try and stay with the pack for now. <laughs> there is, of course, a... Uh, bias of the wheel to the left, so I have to remember to correct for that on the straights. Oh, this guy's run very wide. Nail. <laughs> this is actually quite impressive. For 2003, to put this much effort into you know, the detail of a, of a racing sim, and I will call this a sim, I'm sure that's what everyone considers it. But of course, definitely getting some uh, some iRacing ovals vibes here. 
Although no one's crashed yet, so that's not very realistic compared to iRacing. It will be interesting to see how... I know we are on a, uh, on a super speedway, but how tyre wear is affected, etc. Force feedback doesn't feel terrible. It's definitely there. I would like to try it on high torque mode, but I can't at the moment until my until Fanatec releases a firmware update to fix that problem. But we're just going to cruise along for now. Hopefully we can get back up with the pack. I know that we're falling behind just a little bit here. I might be able to go wide. If he doesn't defend. No. We can take that spot. Nice. We're going to have to stay up high though. But we might be able to rejoin the pack. Oh boy. <laughs> Had to lift for a second there. Didn't know where he was going. <laughs> Got a decent spotter as well. It's not annoying. Sounds very American. Classic NASCAR. <laughs> but this is good. I know that there are like some high resolution texture pack mods and you know updated liveries and even updated cars, I believe. Um, but I kind of wanted just to try this first in its rawest form, if that's one way of putting it. I did have to download a couple of patches uh, to make this work properly. Um, there was a very comprehensive guide that I found um, that I might link to if I could find it again. <laughs> but I think this game is considered abandonware. I could be wrong. So I think it's legal to download without paying, but I might need a fact check on that one. <laughs> Well, so far, this seems quite good. I mean, the AI seems reasonable. They're not all dying in a massive wreck up ahead. They are moving around as well. It's not just a train. All right, we've got some speed on this guy in front now. We are going to have to lift just a little bit to stay behind. Then we can sneak in before the turn. Going three wide into the first turn. Oh boy! Okay. So far, so good. We haven't died yet, which is a, a miracle in itself. 182 miles an hour. That's at just shy of 300 kilometers an hour. Oh, is he leaving a gap? Oh, he knows we're there. <laughs> nice. That's some decent AI. I was right in his like rear quarter, and he backed off. Some other uh, sims wouldn't necessarily do that. They might just <laughs> fly into you. All right, I have no idea what lap we're up to. Oh god, <laughs> some really. Uh, come on, turn! I think we're losing tire grip. Car coming up on the inside. He's got revenge on me. There's two cars flying up. Oh, that cost us big time. We lost a lot of speed. Alright, we're going to have to stay on the high side for now. Seems like it's actually quite a challenge to get up through the pack. I mean, we've only got 20 laps, so it's not like you can be that patient. <laughs> oh, we are sliding out a lot. I think I have cooked the tyres a little bit with some of my erratic driving. Alright, we're clear inside. Let's go back on the inside, block that guy off. Sit behind the M&M's car. I don't know who drove the M&M's car back in 2003. Don't know that much about NASCAR. <laughs> top monitor just decided to turn itself off randomly. Okay. <laughs> Can't handle the extremeness of NASCAR 2003. It's alright. I've got to remain focused. <laughs> oh, 
Alright, we've got to run here. We're going to take the dive. We are three wide. So are the guys in front. I don't know what sort of the, what the damage model is like in this. I don't think it'll be as involved as you know, NASCAR, uh, not NASCAR, iRacing's latest, but you know, for the time, we'll see. If someone crashes, I don't plan on crashing intentionally. <laughs> Oh, I wonder what lap we're on. <laughs> That'd be nice to know. Clear. I know there are spotter commands, or at least like passing commands, etc., that you can set. Outside. I don't know how well that if it actually has any effect on the AI or not. Clear outside. We are making some gains here, though. We are moving slowly up. Well, I've got to defend on the inside. No. That was bad. They're definitely uh, losing some wheel grip. All right. Is this car saying, front? what can Brown do for you? Hopefully he can get out of my way and <laughs> let me pass him. Oh, the Viagra will <laughs> mobile there. Get behind the cereal Cheerios. Okay. Oh mate, we are all over the place right now. I'm struggling to keep this in a lane. Clear. Got the AOL America Online car going really wide. Falling out, if you will. It's a bit of a sign of things to come for AOL. <laughs> Back in 2003, anyway. Oh man, <laughs> the car's doing all sorts of things now. It's a bit unpredictable, but this is good. I'm actually quite impressed. A game from 2003, running very nicely in Windows 10. They say 10 laps to go. Okay, in Windows 10 with a DD1, modern controls, no problem. Besides the amount of time it took for my shifter to work, but. I don't know if that was just me doing something wrong or not. Maybe the latest Fanatec drivers did something. Who's to know? All I know is that they work. <laughs> I'm going to cut across this guy. Obviously, I have no idea how to like properly drive ovals. Oh, be a bit of a tap. Oh, we are sliding out. We're getting nudged as well. It's, it's going to get a bit intense, I think. There may be a slight dead dead spot in the wheel. I don't know. Hard to say. I feel like I need to steer a little bit in advance of the corner. Make sure it stays in the lane. But, I don't know. It's a good wrench car. Unfortunately, this was uh, after Dale Earnhardt's time. And we're really copping the uh, the advertisement for this Viagra <laughs> in front. Don't uh, don't need that one. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Viagra and Rubbermaid. <laughs> Innuendos galore. No idea what position we're in. We have gained a fair few. There is a bit of a, a train behind us. I think I would prefer a little bit stronger force feedback. It does feel a little loose, but can't really complain. It's still more than drivable. They 
very interested to see what sort of mods and, and you know fixes the community has made for this. Because it does feel, you know, somewhat similar to iRacing. Not as, probably not as detailed. I think they've done a lot of work to iRacing, of course, being, you know, a paid service and having a full <laughs> hardcore community behind it and development team. But 2003, man, this must have been nuts. People must have loved this back in the day. No wonder it has the following that it still has today. Even if a bit niche. Again, it's 18 years old. People still swear by this. And I'm really glad that I tried it. Oh, we might have just cut... Oh, no. Oh, we lost... We definitely <laughs> lost some grip there. I think I got a little bit too happy on that one. Oh, that's what that, that might cost us. The guys behind are going to gain some speed off that. Whew. I don't know when we're going to get the white flag. we we'll have to wait and see. Could come up at any time. Hopefully it's not the next lap, because I've fallen way back <laughs> from this pack. There's also a big gap from the pack behind as well. I'm just sitting in no man's land at the moment. Just five more to go. Five laps, okay. We are gaining on these guys, which is good. I'm gonna make sure that I don't slide out wide. That's what cost me all that speed last time. I guess given that I'm between packs right now, I do have the ability to sit wide and ease into the turn, but I'm a little bit worried that my tyres is going to lose grip. This seems like a fairly decent challenge as well. I don't think the AI is set to that hard of a difficulty. Now, obviously, I'm making my way through the pack, but it's definitely not without its challenges. I think if you like put the you know the AI up fairly high, this could be a a decent uh, decent experience if you want you know something that's a bit closer to perhaps how humans might race. Oh, we've swung wide! Damn it! It's all it takes. You know, people give oval racing a bad rap sometimes and say that oh, it's just turning left, but. The smallest mistake can cost you so much in this. All right, we're a bit all over the shop here right now. I don't know. We have to sit on the high line. Got a gap. Oh man. Clear. Really focusing hard <laughs> right now. Is it two laps to go after this one? Oh, I haven't been counting. <laughs> Still there. Even small details like the windscreen getting dirty, like that. That's something that would have been pretty cool for 2003, I'm sure. I think he said two to go. At least I hope he did. <laughs> Oh boy. Car outside. Clear. All right, I think we're coming up with the final lap now. Yep, white flag has just come out. Oh boy, don't crash and die now, Nick. Oh boy, everyone is all over the shop into turn 
one here. I don't know if they have any structure around these positions. Guy behind is looking for a gap. I need to close that off. I wonder if there'll be a wreck ahead as well. Who knows how the AI reacts on the final lap. Oh, can we get this dodge on the line? We are getting some speed on him here. Hug it in. <laughs> yeah. there. Here we go, across the line. I think we're in the top 10 at least. I'll take it. Yes. All right, there's the checkered flag. There is the checkered flag. Great job, buddy. And it's a very similar voice line to what the iRacing uh, spotter says, except with an Australian accent. <laughs> Nice. Man, what an experience. That was actually really cool. I'm, I'm, I'm chuffed. It's a lot of fun. All right, well, I know we had it on some fairly, uh, fairly easy settings. The AI difficulty wasn't that high. There wasn't any damage enabled, and I don't think we had any yellow flags enabled either. But all things considered, that was still a lot of fun, and the challenge was there. I think if I put this up, you know, maybe 10 or 20 more points higher on difficulty, it would be a real struggle for me, at least. You know, not being a, an excellent ovals driver, as I've clearly pointed out. But going back to 2003, holy cow, what an experience this would have been for people. No wonder it's still so popular. Um, or at least popular amongst the, you know, in the NASCAR community who doesn't play iRacing or prefers to play something that's not, you know, on a subscription model, for example. I can, I think that's probably where this niche comes from. Um, but man, really impressed. If you know of any other, like, must-have mods or upgrades or changes that, you know, people have made for this game, please let me know in the, uh, in the uh, comments below because I really want to see just how far we can take this game and, and try it out. Um, you know, in 2021 with all the mods and things that we've got these days. So if you liked the video, uh, please click the like button and hit subscribe and leave a comment below, as I said, on any other mods and changes that you might like to see me have a go with or any other classic Sims that I should try. So uh, look, we'll be back with another video, but until then, I'll catch you later. Thanks. See ya.